Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of operations with integers. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a skills test, 20 questions. Look at this interesting, correct answer is three points, incorrect answer is negative one, but no answer is negative two. It's actually better to get an incorrect answer than to leave something blank. So Freda took the skills test. She answered 12 correct, five incorrect. She did not answer the rest of the questions. Interesting, okay, so let's figure this out here. All right, so I'm gonna use my graph draw feature and we do have some operations here. So I've got 20 questions. So you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to increase my grid size. And I'm going to use my connect line feature here. Watch this. Make slightly larger grids. So I'm going to make a 4 by 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's do that, and it's at the very bottom. I don't think it's going to let me draw that, but there's my 4 by 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use different colors here to kind of visualize here. So I've got plus 3 is going to be 12 answers correct. Okay, so I'm just going to write, instead of a plus, I'm just going to write black, because typically black represents uh, something that's in the positive. So I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now I'm going to get into the red because I've got five questions that are incorrect. Incorrect is worth one point. So I'm going to do a negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one, negative one. And then it said she did not answer the rest. So let me just make that blue the rest of the questions, and we know that the rest actually gets you a negative 2. So you see our little 4 by 5 grid over here, we actually have 3 that are negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. All right, so there's a visual representation of how many points she actually has. So let's see if we can do this in chunks here. I'll use green. So first, Right, let's figure out what this is. So I've got 12, and that's worth a positive 3, so that's worth 36. So starting with 36 points, so that's great. But I need to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so let me just take the negative ones kind of as a group, and that's pretty easy, right? It's negative 1 times 5, so that's negative 5. So that gets me to 31. So I'm going to do a negative 5. But then I've got negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. These three right here, let's group together. There's another negative 6. So I'll just kind of keep that in mind there. I've got a plus 36, minus 5, minus 6. All right, so I've got a 25. All right, so that is one of my answer choices. How can I verify this? Well, watch this. This is another way we can do this. I'm going to use my reds. So you see I've got three negative ones right here. That's negative three. Together, negative one, negative two, negative three. That cancels out that positive three. So I'm going to try to cancel these out. So watch this. I've got a negative one and a negative two. That's a negative three. That cancels that out. I've got a negative 2 and a negative 1. That's another 3 that's gone. And then I've got that negative 2 that's kind of sitting on its own. So what do I have left? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Take away 2 gets me down to 25. Okay, so that's another way to verify it. My answer here is A.